Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Love your background. Oh, wow. Like, that is the oh, that is a great background. That's the heart of the movie right there. I love that. It's so thoughtful. Oh, thank you so much. A, a big congrats on Afterlife of the Party. It's sweet and charming, and it's really all about love. Yeah. It is. Oh. And friendship and forgiveness. That's right. Now let's begin with you, Ms. Victoria. What got you interested in joining the cast? So as soon as I read the script, I loved the story. I thought that it was, it was so heartwarming. I really related to Cassie. I love that she is not this perfect person and she has this journey where she grows as a person. And, um, you know, the fact that she has to make amends with her best friend and her dad and her mom, it's really a story that is about forgiveness in so many ways and second chances. And, and it has, you know, a deeper meaning that people can take away from the movie, which is, you know, never take a day for granted and live and love life to the fullest. Exactly. Because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, right? Exactly. Yeah. And you, Miss Midori, your character of Lisa, Cassie's BFF, she's bookish, smart, but sort of lacks confidence, right? I mean, describe Lisa to us. Yeah, I mean, Lisa's sturdy, right? She's got a sturdiness about her that is really admirable for such a young, young age. She knows what she wants to do in life. and She lives her life in a way that I think she finds respect, respectable. Um, and she's very loyal to her best friend, loves her, I think, more than anything. Um, but I think like, because she, she is so focused on work, so focused on this one person, she sort of um, puts all of her energy into that and doesn't really have room to explore the, the unknown, including romantic relationships and, and other things. So I think she's, um, she's, she's got some blinders up. And over the course of the movie, with the help of Cassie, you know, she's, her world grows. You know, I was so happy to watch this film because, you know, on a personal note, my mommy just passed away recently. So watching this film is very cathartic for me, really. I mean, hoping that my mommy's still around, you know, with some unfinished business like my garden angel, like Cassie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is. Like, Aww. that's really beautiful that you, that, that it meant something to you. And yeah. Yeah. And the love, the love of your mom and that she had for you. I mean, that's, you know, that, that doesn't know an end. So oh, thank Definitely. you so much, you guys. And on that note, though, Victoria, I mean, this film, like what I said earlier, is really about love, like family love, platonic love, you know, familial love, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the coolest things about this movie is that it is really focuses on the love of our friendship of these two young women. And I think that it's something you know, don't always see as, as being the center of films too often. A lot of the times it's about the love between, you know, romantic love, a, a man and a woman and that sort of situation. And I think it's really cool to see like a female friendship depicted in this way because female friendships are so important and they're so beautiful and complex in so many ways. And it was really cool to be able to tell that story and, and bring that aspect of it to life. Oh, and the story after Life of the Party arrives on Netflix September 2nd. Why do you think viewers will love the film? You know, I want to let viewers experience it and take away whatever they want to take away from it. But I think that if you're looking for a heartfelt movie, if you're looking for something that's going to make you laugh, make you cry, um, if you're a fan of either one of us, uh, it, it's, you know, you're not going to be disappointed. Oh, definitely not disappointed at all. A big congrats again on Afterlife of the Party. It's sweet and hopeful. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you so that. Much. Thank all you my so love. Much. Yeah, my love. Bye-bye.